Oh, and by the way, Taylor's just your emergency quarterback in the third string if they need to get that far. And hands off a big run, a big hole, a big take for the freshman, Stevie Scott, for his first career score. The right side of the line just clear out. Hunter Littlejohn Little, Little John takes on Malcolm Cook, and nobody even touches Stevie Scott. Big back, 236 pounds. And they give it back to Scott. And there is the strength. Malcolm Cook with the tackle. And they got 10 on the play. And Scott again. Joey Blunt one more time making the play. That were very consistent winning a lot of games. Stevie Scott. Hand off to the freshman, Scott. It's a big gainer. Scott across the 50, across the 40. And how about that to start the second half? Here, right here, they're going to play off 17. Malcolm Cook unable to see which man he had. And all of a sudden, Stevie Scott. One more time to Scott. Nice game on that year in high school. Only played three games that year. One more time to Scott. And a first down here for Indiana. Let's check in with Michelle. For TD. Now second and 10. And give it back to Scott. Payne's attitude never wavered from one of healthy competition. He thinks his most underrated part of his game is his accuracy, guys. It's up. A second and 18. Here is Scott. You can take some contact really well. Stevie Scott again. Dude. Scott has been the featured back for Indiana. Still on his feet. He's picked himself up a first down. Joey waits for his blockers. Watch Hunter Littlejohn, 68. Able to make a hole for him. Still legs move. This guy's a future star. Uh, a gain of 14. They go right back to 21. Why not? No huddle offense. Up-tempo offense. A gain of four here for Indiana. Seconds last year. To Scott, right down at the first down marker. It'll be another Hoosier first down. Well, for them to meet the hinder shot. One more time to Scott. He just kind of muscles his way through all 236 of them. Good news here for Virginia. They need some pickle juice on their sideline. <laughs> How did I know the pickle juice reference was going to resurface at some point? It was just too good. How about Stevie Scott with the spin move? A little bit faster than me. Hand off again to Scott. Now 22 carries here on the night. Doesn't really need to throw it much. Again, when you've got a back like that, and Scott continues to chew up some yardage. Almost hitting up 200 yards. That's what the doctor ordered for Indiana. Stevie Scott. Oh, ankle tackle. Could have prevented six. Pushing 200 yards. He's sitting at 193 here so far. And Scott again just muscling a couple of calf defenders. Stevie Scott. That carry puts him over 200. This one, he just keeps adding to it. Blunt on the tackle. Either one of these guys are the most athletic guys you're going to see a quarterback, but they're both efficient runners. Runners that can get it done with their feet when they really need to. He won a 20-yard gain on the pass from Ramsey to Westbrook and Stevie Scott the carry again 31 rushes 204 yards and a touchdown against Virginia last week he's trying to keep the Colonels off schedule here in the red zone he throws it out to Scott out of the backfield inside the 15 down to about the 12 about a yard short of a first down Bobby the last time in a short yardage situation like this we saw them throw the ball do they give it to Stevie Scott I'm giving it right there and they do and Scott into the end zone for a touchdown. Six points for Indiana, and the Hoosiers lead it 9-3. to 236, and a veteran offensive line that can come downhill, getting their blocks, not touched until he's a yard. He's a quarterback's best friend. Stevie Scott in the backfield has an opening. Out to the 46-yard line. Well, you mentioned Mike Hart in the same hometown. The All-American out of Michigan. 
They recruited him kind of, as, kind of as an athlete. He kind of had to make a pitch a little bit to Tom Allen to get him on the offensive side of the ball because they were short of depth at linebacker care of business in winning the games they're supposed to win. And now Indiana's going to use plenty of play clock as they take time off the clock, and that is Stevie Scott. He's down to the 10-yard line and 103 today against Ball State. That is very, very impressive. And look at him right there delivering another dose of punishment, powering his way into the end zone. You saw it last week against UVA. You watched his success in the rain. You see it now on a sunny day. He's only a freshman, folks. Big physical back coming downhill. It gives your defense a rest. And in the air of the spread offense, the big back is still alive. He just lowered his shoulder. He's in the slot here, but it's to Stevie Scott. And Stevie Scott powers his way in. You can see the blitz coming, and he puts the touch pass right over there to Stevie Scott. This time they'll go on the ground. Stevie Scott staying upright and into the end zone for Indiana. Only 12 rushing yards last week against Michigan State. And on that run alone, he gets in from 16 yards out. You get him in third down just like you want, and they just run a base play, and it looks like the defensive line for... Now they flare him out. Rutgers pressure up the middle. It's out to Scott. Reaching across. Lost the football as well. No signal. So as it stands right now, it's Rutgers football as it was picked up by Ola Kunle Fadukasi. At the end of the third quarter, he's telling all his guys, put four fingers in the air. We're going to the fourth. Get fired up. Ramsey and underneath on the pass to Stevie Scott. Stevie Scott, their leading rusher into the backfield now. He gets his first carry into Ohio State territory and down the sideline. Finally wrestled out of bounds near the 10. First good run of the day. And, and really it's been the play of the safeties that's been struggling for this Ohio State defense this year. Isaiah Pryor has to miss the first half of this game due to an illegal hit for targeting last week. And you see Jocelyn Wint, he's taken over. And sling it out that way, and Scott's got it up for the first down, and some extra yards on top of that. Play action. Another dump off, same play to Scott, and he'll get out about a yard shy. Let's see where they spot him. Third and short coming up. I don't know if he's going to get back on pace with his touchdown catches from last year, but <laughs> heck, third out out the window, he's yeah. up to 15 now, so it looks a lot better. 9-4 to four ratio to 15-4 to four ratio. I like that.